Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how we can find the angle between a line and a plane in three dimensions. If you want to visualize what it looks like, you can see it here in three dimensions. We're going to have a plane. You've got a blue plane here. And this line here is where the line intersects the plane. So this is the exact angle we're looking for. So if you look at it from the side on, you can see that's the angle there. So this other vector that you can see in three dimensions is actually the normal to the plane, which is why you can see the right angle here. Now it's pretty useful to note that you can draw this as a right angle triangle, which is really beneficial because it's pretty easy to find the angle up here, this angle here at E. All you're gonna do is find the angle between the normal and the direction vector of the line. And if you know this angle here, because you've got a right angle triangle, you can find the other angle. So let's have a look at a practical example. What you're going to need to know first is the normal to the plane. So I'm going to look at the coefficients of the plane, which is going to be 1, 2, and 1. That helps me to know what the normal to that plane is. And I'm going to take the direction vector from the line, which is the other vector I'm going to be working with, would be 1i plus 0j plus 2k. You can also write these as 1, 2, 1, and 1, 0, 2. However you prefer to write the vectors. Now, I'm going to find the angles between the vectors using the dot product. You should be quite familiar with that by now. If you need a recap, go back and check out the other videos on this topic. So we're going to be using the formula cos theta is going to be the normal, the dot product of these two vectors, the normal and the direction vector, divided by the product of their magnitude. So how would I find the magnitude of this vector here? Well, I need to square all its components. So I'm going to do 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared times by the square root of 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 2 squared. So let's calculate the dot product here. This is going to be 1 times 1, which is 1. This is going to be 2 times 0, which is going to be 2. And the last one is going to be 1 times 2, which is going to be 2. Okay, we're going to divide that by the magnitude. So this is going to be 1 squared is 1 plus 2 squared is 4, so that would be 5, add another one, 6, so that would be square root 6 times by the square root of 1 squared is 1, 0 squared is 0, 2 squared is 4, so this would be square root 5. So what do we have for our cos theta? We have cos theta is 3 divided by square root of 30. Okay, so you use your calculator. And that tells me that roughly, if I go to three significant figures, the angle is going to be 56.8. But don't forget that, as we saw in three dimensions, what that means is that is the angle between the normal and the direction vector. That's that angle here. Okay. Okay. So to find the angle that we need to do, you can just do the triangle will add up to 180 degrees. That's 90 already. 180 take away 90 is 90. 90 minus my answer is approximately equal to 90 minus the answer. If I round to three significant figures, 33.2 degrees. And that's the angle between the line and the plane. If you found this valuable, if this really helped you to study today, then please like and subscribe.